सो गुड मॉर्निंग वंस अगेन अगेन आई एम हेयर टू एक्सप्लेन यू नेक्स्ट सिस्टम ऑफ फ्रॉग दैट इज नर्वस सिस्टम येस वी आर गोइंग टू बिगिन विद नर्वस सिस्टम ऑफ फ्रॉग एज यू ऑल नो नर्वस सिस्टम कंसिस्ट ऑफ थ्री पार्ट्स सी एन एस पी एन एस एंड ए एन एस सी एन एस स्टैंड फॉर सेंट्रल नर्वस सिस्टम पी एन एस स्टैंड फॉर पेरीफ्रल नर्वस सिस्टम एंड ए एन एस स्टैंड फॉर ऑटोनॉमिक नर्वस सिस्टम नाउ सी एन एस और सेंट्रल नर्वस सिस्टम कंसिस्ट ऑफ टू पार्ट्स देर इज ब्रेन एंड स्पाइनल कॉर्ड एज द बोथ ऑक्यूपाई द सेंट्रल एक्सेस द मिडल लाइन ऑफ बॉडी दैट इज वाई दे आर सेट टू बी अ पार्ट ऑफ सी एन एस सो वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट विद ब्रेन ऑफ फ्रॉग नाउ दिस इज द व्यू ऑफ ब्रेन ऑफ फ्रॉग यू कैन सी वन इज डॉर्सल व्यू अदर इज वेंट्रल व्यू आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन इन द कमिंग स्लाइड्स फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल यू शुड नो वट आर द मेनेंजेस यू नो दैट ब्रेन इज डेलीकेट बट वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट ऑर्गन ऑफ द बॉडी एंड सिंस इट इज द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट ऑर्गन सो दिस ऑर्गन ऑल्सो नीड्स प्रोटेक्शन एंड टू एंश्योर इट्स प्रोटेक्शन देर इज प्रेजेंट प्रोटेक्टिव लेयर्स अराउंड इट एंड द लेयर्स ऑफ ब्रेन द प्रोटेक्टिव कवरिंग्स ऑफ ब्रेन वी कॉल दैम मेनेंजेस यू मस्ट बी अवेयर ऑफ दैट ब्रेन इज प्रेजेंट इन साइड करेनियम और ब्रेन बॉक्स सो करेनियम इज द पार्ट ऑफ स्कल द हार्ड स्ट्रक्चर विच कवर द ब्रेन बट जस्ट इन साइड द करेनियम देर आर मेनेंजेस सिंगुलर इज मेनिक्स सो ब्रेन ऑफ फ्रॉग इज कवर्ड बाई टू मेनेंजेस जस्ट सी इन द डायग्राम आउटर द ब्लैक वन इज ड्यूरामेटर एंड इनर ग्रीन वन आई हैव मेड पाया एरेक्नोइड मेम्ब्रेन सो देर आर टू लेयर्स ड्यूरामेटर इज आउटर थिक लेयर मेड अप ऑफ फाइबरस कनेक्टिव टिश्यू इट्स अ हार्ड लेयर and the inner layer is formed by the fusion of pia mater and arachnoid membrane and we are calling it pia arachnoid membrane though it is a thin layer but i have made it somewhat you know that green color to make you understand that it is the inner layer which closely invest the brain surface now you see there are present two spaces between the meninges the space between dura mater and pia arachnoid membrane is subdural space while the space between dura mater and cranium we are calling it epidural space epi means above sub means below and these two spaces they are filled with the fluid that fluid is called cerebrospinal fluid okay so meninges and cranium these are somewhat provide protection to brain they are protective structures around brain now you all know you have done in previous classes that brain composed of three parts the parts are fore brain mid brain and hind brain so let's see the one more view this is dorsal view of brain of frog just see in the dorsal view you can see fore brain consists of olfactory lobes second part cerebral hemisphere and third part of fore brain is diencephalon see mid brain or mesencephalon made up of two optic lobes and hind brain made up of cerebellum and medulla oblongata If you see them externally, you can find olfactory lobes are small structures present just above cerebral hemisphere. Cerebrum is second part. You can see it is made up of two oval cerebral hemispheres, and see their surface is somewhat smooth. If you see cerebral hemispheres of mammalian brain, they are highly folded. Okay, but here cerebral hemispheres are oval and smooth bodies, and they are separated by a groove in between. Let me tell you. the groove is called median groove or longitudinal groove so this median groove separates two hemispheres left and right then third part is seen diencephalon where pineal stalk is shown then optic lobes a part of mid brain and see cerebellum cerebellum is also poorly developed it's just like a transverse band which can be seen just below the optic lobe and the later part is medulla oblongata which finally changes into spinal cord if i show you ventral view this is another view see the ventral view again on the ventral side you can find again olfactory lobe cerebral hemisphere then on the ventral side of diencephalon see optic chiasma is shown optic chiasma is formed by crossing of two optic nerves in fundibulum is present it's a stalk attached to diencephalon on which hypo hypophysis is present let me tell you in fundibulum and hypophysis both makes up pituitary body 
then optic lobe is clear a portion of optic lobe is visible and medulla is also visible so this is ventral view now to go for described description of all the parts let's see sectional view of brain this is sectional view of brain and in the sectional view you can see again i'm going to explain four brain first of all the very first part i told you these are olfactory lobes these are one pair in number and these olfactory lobes enclose a cavity the cavity is called rhinoceal and olfactory ventricle let me tell you olfactory lobes are concerned with sense of smell and since they are concerned with sense of smell these are very much important in that feeding of frog then after that there is next part that is cerebrum let me tell you cerebrum is made up of i told you these are smooth oval bodies which is made up of two cerebral hemispheres left and right okay now cerebral hemispheres this is lateral view so just you see one hemisphere is visible the floor and ventrolateral sides of hemisphere is somewhat thick and the floor is called corpus striatum just you see the roof of hemisphere is thin the roof of cerebral hemisphere we are calling it pallium so corpus striatum is the floor and pallium is the roof and see one more thing these cerebral hemispheres they enclose another cavity the cavity is called paraseal or lateral ventricles there are two lateral ventricles as there are two hemispheres right and left now if we move to next part then you will find the third part is diencephalon the roof of diencephalon is epithalamus while the floor is hypothalamus okay while the side walls lateral walls we call them thalami just you see the floor or hypothalamus contain a stalk i told you the stalk is called infundibulum and this infundibulum carries a structure over it called hypophysis both infundibulum and hypophysis together makes up pituitary body pituitary is the important endocrine gland present in all the vertebrates so pituitary is attached to the stalk called infundibulum now the roof of diencephalon i told you it is epithalamus it consists of these finger like projections these finger like projections we call them anterior choroid plexus so anterior choroid plexus are finger like projections from the roof of diencephalon let me tell you these are made up of epithelium covered with pyrechnoid membrane and function of these plexus is to release cerebrospinal fluid they release cerebrospinal fluid they produce cerebrospinal fluid just after that you see there is present pineal stalk okay pineal stalk is another structure present in the roof of diencephalon let me tell you pineal stalk carries a gland a body over it we call it pineal body initially pineal body is attached to pineal stalk but later that pineal body it get detached from here and it will shift just between two eyes beneath the skin and you know that position of pineal body is marked externally by a structure called bro spot so bro spot indicate position of pineal body in frog okay pineal body is said to be vestige of third eye otherwise it's an important gland in vertebrates so anterior choroid plex and pineal stalk are two important structures which are seen in diencephalon now one more thing you can see the diencephalon also enclose the cavity and the cavity of diencephalon we are calling it third ventricle what we call it we call it third ventricle or diaceal okay so olfactory lobes contain rhinoceal or olfactory ventricle cerebral hemispheres they contain paraseal or lateral ventricles and third ventricle or diaceal is present inside diencephalon so diencephalon is another important part with epithalamus hypothalamus and thalami okay now after fore brain the next part is mid brain i told you mid brain is made up of optic lobes and if you see the optic lobes are visible just after diencephalon so mid brain is made up of optic lobes optic lobes are small structure and they also enclose cavity inside them the cavity is called optocoel okay optic lobes as the name indicate they are concerned with the sense of sight now let's move to hind brain 
I told you hindbrain contain two main regions. One is cerebellum and other is medulla oblongata. So cerebellum, as you saw in the dorsal view and in the ventral view, that cerebellum appears as a transverse band. It's not well developed, rather it's poorly developed. So cerebellum appears as transverse band on the surface of brain and this also enclosed cavity inside it we are calling it cerebellar ventricle otherwise cerebellum is involved in maintaining equilibrium of the body it is there to maintain posture of body while performing movements so this is the another important part of brain now come the last one this is medulla oblongata medulla is the last part that passes into spinal cord just you see roof of medulla also contain network and that network is called posterior choroid plexus let me tell you posterior choroid plexus also release the same fluid the fluid called cerebrospinal fluid okay and medulla also enclose a cavity the cavity is called fourth ventricle so I told you third ventricle was in diencephalon, fourth ventricle now you see present in medulla and just see third and fourth ventricle are connected by this narrow passage. This narrow passage is labeled here. This tubular passage which connect third ventricle to the fourth one we call it iter or aqueduct of sylvius. Okay and this iter passes through the midbrain. It connect third and fourth ventricle. Got it? So medulla is the last part of brain. And medulla control involuntary activities of the body just like blood pressure it has cardiac center also that control heartbeat it has respiratory center also that control rhythm of respiration or mechanism of respiration so these are the parts of hindbrain cerebellum and medulla so one more thing i want to add up over here that midbrain of frog also contains bands of nerve fibers which we call them crura cerebri these are thick bands of nerve fibers running below the optic lobes and you know these crura cerebri singularis crust cerebrum they are going to connect diencephalon with medulla oblongata so three parts of brain are clear one is forebrain other is midbrain and third is hindbrain now there is another interesting structure of frog's brain that right and left halves of brain are connected together and their connection is established by commissures. Commissures are nothing but transverse bands of nerve fibers. Three commissures are seen in the diagram. One is anterior commissure, one is dorsal commissure and third one is posterior commissure. You see anterior commissure, it is present just in front of diencephalon, just it's in front of third ventricle. Dorsal commissure, it lies in the roof of third ventricle and posterior commissure lies at the junction of diencephalon and optic lobes. Now I told you these commissures are there to provide connection between right and left sides of brain. Anterior commissure it connects corpora striata of left and right cerebral hemispheres. Okay, So left and right cerebral hemispheres they are connected by anterior commissure. If I say posterior commissure it connects lateral walls of diencephalon. Lateral walls of diencephalon, we call them thalami or optic thalami. So they are connected by a posterior commissure. So presence of three commissures, which are transverse bands of nerve fibers, it is another interesting, another unique feature of amphibian's brain. Now, as I told you, the entire brain enclosed cavities. You can see many cavities are there. Just see one more look of cavities of brain, we call them ventricles. Olfactory lobes carries olfactory ventricles. Then lateral ventricles or paraseal are there in cerebral hemisphere. Third ventricle or diaseal is present in diencephalon. Fourth ventricle or myeloseal is present in medulla oblongata. Optic lobe also carries cavities called optoseal or optic ventricles already I told you. Now here I want to show you one interesting aspect that there are connections between the ventricles. Okay, the connection that I am going to encircle it is foramen of Monroe. Let me tell you this foramen of Monroe it connects lateral ventricles with third ventricle. Okay, first and second ventricle which are lateral ventricles they are connected with third ventricle by foramen of monroe another one already i described you iter 
what is aiter aiter i told you aqueduct of sylvius it's a narrow canal that passes through the midbrain and this connect third ventricle that is diacyl with fourth ventricle of medulla so foramen of monroe is the connection between lateral ventricles and third ventricle and aiter is a passage that connects third and fourth ventricles of brain let me tell you entire ventricles of brain they are filled with the fluid called cerebrospinal fluid and you see the last part of brain medulla it will pass into spinal cord spinal cord also carries a cavity a canal and this canal we are calling it central canal okay central canal is also filled with cerebrospinal fluid so this is regarding structure of brain but one more thing i want to add up over here that brain composed of two kinds of nervous tissue though we have done the structure but you know histologically brain consists of two kinds of nervous tissue gray matter and white matter now what is gray matter gray matter is nothing but made up of cell bodies and dendrites of neurons and you know gray matter appears gray in color due to absence of myelin sheath it is made up of cell bodies and dendrites which are non medulated white matter appears white in color as it is made up of medulated or myelinated nerve fibers which have myelin sheath on them so in brain gray matter forms the cortex and white matter forms medulla but when we come to medulla region na the last part of medulla this arrangement got reverse in the last part of medulla gray matter comes to the inner side that is to the medulla Uh, to the central part and white matter moves to cortical region okay and in spinal cord also the reverse arrangement will be continued spinal cord has gray matter in the center and white matter on the periphery this is all about structure of brain we have done various parts of brain regarding its ventricles regarding various structures and their functions so thank you so very much everyone do subscribe my channel and like and share my video also